today's video, we're going to take a look at the Outdoor Vitals Dominion Backpacking Tent. That's what's coming up next here on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose, your home for information and gear reviews related to camping, survival, and general preparedness for regular folks. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So the folks at Outdoor Vitals were kind enough to send me one of their Dominion backpacking tents and to sponsor this video. You've seen other Outdoor Vitals stuff on the channel before. We've looked at some of their bags, sleeping bags, uh, their uh, Rhyolite 60, I think it's a Rhyolite 60, their backpack, which I think is one of the best values in backpacks going right now. Uh, they came out with this tent recently and I think it's also a really, really good value. So this thing's been sitting out in the rain now for, for a, about a week, uh, we took it camping with the Boy Scouts a week and a half ago. It got rained on really, really hard all night. Everything stayed dry in it, uh, but, it but the tent was wet when we packed it up. So I brought it out here, set it up in the backyard to let it dry out. Uh, at least that was my intention. Well, it's been raining almost every day since then. So, um, but it's pretty dry now. You can see maybe a little bit of water spots still on it right here. But what I thought we'd do is just go ahead and bring it over here i got i'm going to cut in the footage in a minute of, of, of setting it up and show you how easy it is but we'll take a look at the details here now before we do that and you'll see them as we set it up and then we'll wrap this thing up um all the specs and the weights and all that will be in the description below it's around five and a half pounds for the whole thing something like that but you can set it up with an ultralight with just the uh, rain fly and the footprint if you want to uh the price for the for the tent with the footprint it's about 200 bucks uh about 180 without the footprint so you can but you can buy it all together which i think is a good way to do it because then if your footprint does wear out you can just buy a new footprint you don't have to buy you know it's just it's available separately anyways the point so let's take a look at it i'll show you some some features i think are pretty cool we'll, we'll fit in the we'll cut in show you the uh, setup kind of in fast forward maybe with a little guitar or something behind it we'll wrap this thing up because guess what as usual it's getting dark we're gonna go mobile here sorry for the uh Blair Witch Project feel here, but I just want to show you a couple things I think are pretty cool. So I probably don't have this thing stretched out tight enough now, but uh, it's got a little cord lock at the bottom here. So if you need to stretch your stretch your uh, tarps out, you can just pull that and it locks it out, which I think is pretty cool. A little tighter now. It also features these two dormer vents and it's got a, a little Velcro deal here. And unlike some I've seen, this is actually a... Uh, I'm trying to do this one-handed, so excuse me, but this has actually got a little piece of plastic or something inside there, so it's not just a stiffened piece of fabric. It actually is. It has a, some, some stability to it, a couple of uh, Velcro on both sides. This gives you a little ventilation here. Something else I think is really cool has a vestibule on both sides, and you'll notice here, I don't think I have it staked out very good, but it's got a rain gutter here, so basically when water runs off, it catches this little seam and it runs down and doesn't have a chance of getting over into your door. So we'll go ahead and see if I can do this one-handed. Unzip it. It's got some Velcro down here at the corner. Uh, it's actually got three different Velcro patches up through there, I believe. Let's see. Yeah, one here. It's just for added security. Another one up here. And then um, you can see it's a pretty good-sized vestibule under there. Gosh, that thing comes out about three feet. You can roll it up here. One hand, it's probably not working really well for me, but anyway, it's just got a little toggle here. If I do this one handed, I'm gonna be really impressed with myself. <laughs> and looky there, wait, I'm almost got it. Can I do it? Oh, no, nope. okay, we'll forget that. And you look inside, it's got uh, doors on both sides. A really wide opening door. We'll open this thing up here like so. One hand, it may not work. Yep, it did. Okay, so if you look inside, you can see it is absolutely bone dry in here. And literally, it rained all night last night. So pretty impressive with that. It has also um, has a gear loft here. Comes with a gear loft. Pretty good size gear loft. And uh, you can see the tent itself is just about all, all mesh. So plenty of ventilation, plenty of air there. I like it because it just clips on. Everything works with these clips like this. So once you get your pole set up, you just you just set your clips up there and you go to town. One-handed. One pole design with aluminum hubs. It's got aluminum tent poles, 8.5 millimeter tent poles uh, with a swivel up top here for your spreader for the top. And one thing I want to show you um, on the ends, it has, it has uh, the... Uh, 
cordage that you can stake the end out if you want to if you really if you're in high wind conditions or whatever and then the other thing that's really i think is cool the way these one pole designs work you've got the pole and everything stacks under it with these grommets on it so each one has a separate grommet there's room on the pole if you can see right there for them all to stack up so you put your uh your footprint down your tent and the rain fly all can can snap on this pole together and the rain fly actually has buckles to adjust the tension in it so it comes with its own nice aluminum stakes it's very uh, again just everything is just first class like everything else i've looked at from the folks at outdoor vitals So we're going to do this just like we just showed up to the campsite late, like I very often do for the Boy Scouts, and it's getting dark. we got to hurry. I wouldn't recommend uh, showing up for a campsite late with a, a tent you've never used before, but we're just going to see how easy this thing is to, to go. So. Okay, one other thing I want to show you is, uh, here's the tent bag. Something I like about this bag is it's really oversized and it's got these um, compression straps on it. So it's really easy to get the tent and everything in here and then compress it up. Unlike some, which you've got to really roll them super tight and twist them and all that to get in there. Everything's got its own bag too. The pole set comes in a bag here. Got, got the uh, stakes come in their own bag. There's nice, just nice aluminum stakes. Uh, and the, the footprint has its own bag. So. But all that together still fits in here and cinches up really tight. So just a, a very well-designed, well-thought-out tent um, with, a, with the, the, the features and quality of everything else I've seen from the folks at Outdoor Vitals. Just a little attention to detail is pretty cool. So that's the Outdoor Vitals Dominion 2.5 backpacking tent. Um, uh, if you're looking for a really great tent and what I think is a fair price, it's about the $200 mark for everything you see here. Um, I want to check out the folks at Outdoor Vitals. 
I can tell you this thing has been Boy Scout tested. Again, it's been sitting up here for a week. It's been raining the last couple of days. It rained literally up until about, it stopped raining about four hours ago this morning. So it is absolutely bone dry inside. I can absolutely verify that this is a weatherproof, really good tent. So once again, thanks to the folks at Outdoor Vitals for sending me this so I can show it to you and for sponsoring this video. And as always, thank you for watching Survival on Purpose. I put out a brand new video every Friday and Saturday and very often random videos throughout the week. You can check out a new one by clicking right over here. If you're not subscribed, you can click right down there in the corner and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. Stay dry. I'll see you next time.